Now for the hydroponic system that we've set up. Um, it's been a few months since we initially set it up. We only had one pipe to start with. Put a few plants in, put some spinach in, lettuce. We've eaten a lot of it. Um, a lot of this stuff that's in here is only a month old or less. We've upgraded the system since then, upgraded the reservoir. Come in and have a look at one of the initial tomatoes we had a couple of months ago. Now I should have should have tied these guys up because they're just falling over. I've got electrical wire and some sort of weird sort of setup happening here. But this this is a black Russian. We've got really nice tomatoes in there, some really big ones. I'm trying to hold some of this up. I've had a few issues with it breaking there. But that that is just huge and awesome. I've got no idea what this variety is. Very late maturing. Huge tomatoes, it's got the rib, the rib texture in it. So hopefully, we haven't got anything off that yet. But hopefully we haven't. We've got some clones down here, done a bit of pruning. See the root system just, just absolutely coming out on that one. Look at that. That's brilliant. Just getting a little bit of spray. Silver beet maybe? No idea, I don't label the plants, that's so terrible. Silver beet, I think. Coming up beautiful, not very long, probably three weeks old if that. Uh, we've got some spring onions here, all these are ready for harvest. We've grabbed a heap of these spring onions. They are the most flavoursome spring onions I've, I've ever had. They're so strong, very nice. Just put these corns in, these corns, are, they're growing crazy. They're really well in the hydro, it's a very late time of year to put them in. Some dill. Now we've got a heap of dill off this so far. Um, it's gone to sea, but I can still still keep ripping a bit off whenever we need it to put in, in any recipe we require it. Now I've neglected all the bugs, unfortunately. Bug central. Should be a heap of fly things in here. We've got caterpillars under the leaves. I'm going to spray these tonight because I'm I'm seeing. You can see all the eggs down here. Look at this. It's just no good. Again, we didn't <laughs> label this. I'm thinking it's broccoli. This stuff here, rocket. And it's got the most incredibly strong flavour you could imagine. I nearly can't eat this. Although we did put it in the dish last night, a bit of spaghetti. And if you mix it in with other ingredients, it, it works out so it's alright. But I gave this to a mate of mine and he thought it was, I was giving him a weed. Could you put you know a weed in your hydro and trying to give it to me? Oh, very strong peppery flavour. Very strong. This guy here, he was dying. Banged him in the hydro, he's got a flower now. He's probably got a couple of flowers in there somewhere. There's another one coming up. Little little tiny strawberry plant anyway. This this bean. How's that been here? Three weeks maybe? Well, wouldn't be four weeks yet. No. Three weeks. He's climbing up. I'm Going to rig up a big system here, so he's going to grow all over the wall, hopefully. These spring onions, here on the bottom here, a couple of weeks old. Um, and they're going great. We plant them a lot closer together, put four rockle cubes in the 100 millimeter pot that we've got there, and they're just going crazy. And they're such a good crop. I put them with everything, I love it. You know, they're they go in your sandwiches, they, we, we just made a bread, zucchini and spring onion bread. We'll see how that goes later. These peppers here are fantastic. Capsicum, they're growing great now. We've got some nice big, big peppers coming on there. Three nice ones, plenty more flowers. It's got some decent nutrients for this, so it's going really well. A few beans in here. That, you know, again, this is only a very young plant, but it's very healthy. There's a bean down the back there. We're hoping for many, many more. Dwarf bean plant. Another different variety of dwarf bean plant. Some heavy growth in there. No flowers as yet. We've got, uh, again, pepper or capsicum. This one here is growing capsicums crazy. More traditional style, very nice. Cannot wait to harvest some more of these. I did harvest some last night just to give it a try, and they're absolutely gorgeous. Now these guys, 
These are our cherry tomato plants. And this time I've actually decided to cut off cut off all the little bits so they'll grow a nice big stem. A lot of commercial growers try that. I've heard conflicting reports, but I'm going to give it a try. Thin it out a little bit because I've got so many of them across here. Now, come down the end here, we've got chilli plants. Now, we've got a few chilies in there. Starting to come along. There's, they're absolutely jam-packed in there, so... Haven't had any quite ready yet. Although I did have one last night, and it was still quite nice, but didn't have the really hot flavour that I wanted. So we've got this one here. If you have a look, it's starting, starting to ripen up. Only very small. Only very small chilli there. Starting to ripen on the end. Which is good. The zucchini plants have just gone absolutely crazy. Here's a bit of a zucchini. Got the zucchini flowers. There's a female flower there. That'll grow a nice, big, fat zucchini. That one there as well. Done a bit of pruning on this guy because he was just... <laughs> These guys were just huge. In actual fact, the plant's about a foot long. It's actually falling down down here, so I'm sort of propping it up. And it's also starting to grow another stem up. Up in the middle of it, there's another nice little zucchini with the flower. Delicious. Some people use these flowers in dishes and put it on pizzas and stuff them. I'm yet to try that, but it's something we're definitely going to try. So for, for a couple of months of growth, this is absolutely huge. But it's actually probably less than that, because we only put these pipes in about four weeks ago. So, you know, like we've got plenty more lettuce that we need to put in there. Three weeks later, we have a huge lettuce. Looking forward to heaps more tomatoes, more spring onions. Going to put some more of them in. Hopefully, everything just keeps growing the way it is. It's absolutely amazing how it's going. PVC pipe hydroponics. It's definitely the way to go.